All right, what's up, guys? It is Mental Illness Monday, and I'm sorry it's a little late today. I've been under the weather most of the day today and yesterday. I hadn't been feeling too good, so. Uh, so, yeah, here we are again. I guess this is week four now, and um, let's get into it. So, the first contestant we have here is this numb skull here. This is a uh, One Reality YouTube channel. Uh, Jesus saves sinners who stop sinning. Uh, yeah, mental illness already. Radar is just going off. You know, uh, show me a chapter and verse where people get saved by stop sinning. I mean, you're not gonna find it. Um, this is a, you know, this is mental illness. This is what a lot of new age Christians. This is a new age Christian right here. People say, no, he's not. He's not new age Christian. Yeah, he is. Okay. When you say you have to be good enough to earn salvation, you are a new age Christian. Yes, you are. And this man right here is going to burn in hell forever. He's mentally ill. He thinks he's good enough to get in heaven by his good works. Mental illness. Okay? He doesn't realize he's bad. See? Moving on. Next one. Satan be like, you don't have to keep God's law because he knows your heart. <laughs> all right. A couple problems here. Um, first of all, uh, you don't have to keep God's law because he knows your heart. Well, uh, here's the problem. I'm, I'm a sinner and I'm saved by grace. And the law is not for a righteous man. It's for the wicked. You know, um, that's, that's, they don't even understand what's going on here, really. I mean, it's, I'm confused. So yeah, this is mental illness. Moving on. Check this one out. This is from the, Preach the gospel .org. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Uh, now, if you know your Bible, you know this does not say this. It says, believe the Son, who does not believe on the Son. Okay? Um, let me pull up my Bible. I should have had this pulled up already, but I didn't fail. Let's just pull it up here, because I know I'm going to have to pull it from Scripture here later on, just for this cause. But, uh, yeah, let's go here and check this out. Show you, just for some people who don't believe me. Does not say obey. All right. He that believeth on the Son had everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Hmm. You are a liar. Moving on. Check this one out. I am a Christian, and I love the Quran. And it says, do you like the parts of the Quran that, that say to kill all Christians? These people, I swear, these new age Christians, you know, that just want to, you know, bring everybody together, you know. Let's just get all together be one, you know. Yeah, you know, mental illness is what you got here. Science flies you to the moon, religion into skyscrapers. So we got two lies right here, you know. Uh, first of all, nobody's ever been in the moon, and it wasn't religion. Well, I guess you could say it was a religion of Freemason and Jesuitry and atheism that flew into the skyscrapers, but whatever. Um, they're trying to say that this has something to do with uh, Muslims or whatever. And I even heard one idiot out there try to say that um, that Israel was the one behind this. Please, you know. Again, people try to try to make out the Rothschilds, you know, like they are some some, some part of Israel or something like that. Is let me tell you something. The Rothschilds have nothing to do with Israel. They're not. They're not Jews. Okay. They may profess the religion of Judaism, but they are not Jews. They're not from the country of Israel. All right. So this is mental illness. Not, we've never been to the moon, and religion did not fly into the skyscrapers. Moving on. <sighs> okay. Here we go. This one's interesting. If Satan got kicked out of heaven for sin. What makes you think you'll make it into heaven in sin? See, I love how these work salvationists, you know, like Joe Schimmel, uh, Father Father Joe is what I'm going to start calling him. Uh, I love how they all do this. They'll say, what makes you think you can go to heaven in sin? Well, uh, you know, 1 John 1, 8 says that, you know, if we believe we have no sin, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. You know, I guess you missed that one. Uh, no. And they all do this. They'll use this thing with Satan or the fallen angels or whatever, you know, to try to prove their point, which is ridiculous. You know, 
Satan and the angels were in the presence of God. That is completely different. They were immortal beings. We are not. Okay? Uh, in their present state, we are not. Ridiculous. All right, here we go. Here's a kick on the Trinity. My girlfriend is allowed a maximum of three male friends. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, you have three gods there. That's what you have. That's what the Trinity is. <laughs> uh, no, my girlfriend is allowed a maximum of one male friend. Okay? My wife, anyway. And that is God. That's what it should say. Jesus Christ. There was one mediator between God and man, the man, Christ Jesus. One. Okay? He's one. Not three. He's not three distinct bodies up there. This is mental illness. If you believe in this three God trinity system, you're mentally ill. Moving on. There is no sadder sight than a bunch of women marching for the right to kill their own children. See, this is mental illness right here. They don't believe that abortion is murder. They're mentally ill. And so they use the abortion as an escape goat to escape responsibilities. So they don't have to deal with the child that, while they were fornicating. You know, most of them are anyway. So yeah, it's now, it's now okay to murder children. But it's funny too because, you know, people throw, these same people throw a fit about murdering, you know, not murdering, but butchering animals for food. You know, yeah. Moving on. I love this one right here. Unity. There is only one race in the body of Christ, and that's the Christian race, Galatians 3.28. Well, uh, there, princess, you know, it's a shame for a man to have long hair, and you too, sir. There's, I, I guess that's a man. But um, really can't tell nowadays. You know, a lot of men look like women. You know, it's funny. There was an old song in the 80s. I, think, I can't remember what it was called, but it said, dude looks like a lady. Yeah, that's what he does. So Galatians chapter 3. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither bond nor free, there's neither male nor female, for ye are all one Christ Jesus. See, I love how, you know, these New Agers or any new Christian, modern Christian will use that verse to say, see, there's no more race. Well, what about male and female? There's neither male nor female. See, this is mental illness right here, that, that picture. Okay, so we're all sexless now? No. Sure. Mental Illness is what you're dealing with right here. Thousands of Muslims and Buddhists turn to Jesus. Revival is happening in Indonesia. Yeah, I'm sure it is. A bunch of charismaniac nuts down in Indonesia is what it is. Uh, I looked into this whole thing. It's a bunch of charismatic, cuckoo bird, tongue babbling, you know, Baal worshippers is all it is. Uh, yeah, there's no uh, there's no revival going on in the last days. The Bible speaks about a falling away. No revival. Mental illness right here. All right, I love this one right here. It says, explain the difference between a Christian and a Muslim with a gun in their Quran and a Christian with a gun in a Bible. Well, please give me some proof where Christians are going out slaughtering people for the, you know, if they don't convert to Christianity. I explain the difference. So your argument's invalid. Gotcha. Mental illness. Moving on. Check this out. They told you that we were monsters. We were the last warriors who fought the satanic Jewish banking cartel that rules you today. <laughs> See, this is mental illness. When you don't actually study who these people really are, you know, these so-called Jewish banker, Zionists, you know, these terrible people up there, you know, if you don't actually study these people out and see who they really are, you'll see they're not even from the nation of Israel. You know? Ridiculous. Mental illness. When people start saying Hitler was a good guy. All right, check this one out. I love what this Inquisitor says right here. This is a comment. And it's on my, I think it's on, I can't remember if it was on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I think it was. He says, I always recommend you get a KJV and read the book of Matthew. Then go back to the page one and read the Bible from the beginning. Repent, live according to the Gospels, and seek a relationship with God through prayer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want my understanding of the enemy, then examine Genesis 6 regarding the Watchers. Uh, okay, chapter and verse on the Watchers. I then recommend reading the book of Enoch. Oh, boy. Although not a biblical or canonical book. <laughs> okay, if it's not a biblical book, then why read it? You know, it's garbage. Then listen to as listen to as many video lectures by Dr. Michael Heiser on YouTube and read his two books, 
the unseen realm reversing Herman. Um, okay, uh, there, nut boy. Uh, first of all, repent, live according to the gospels is not how you get saved. Okay, if you repent, if you repent, you know, quotations, repent and live according to the gospels, you're going to go to hell and you're going to burn forever. All right, this is a false gospel right here. Uh, whenever you see anybody that says you need to obey the four gospels, that's what we need to go. By. Four gospels, they're lost. Okay, they're lost. The, the blood of Jesus Christ is not found in any of those books. Um, as far as the sacrifice and all that stuff. Give me a break. Jesus Christ didn't die on the cross yet. Okay, I had to block out the picture here on this one because it was disgusting. So I apologize. It was it was very vexing. It was just basically a woman, demon, I don't know what you call it. Like a, I can't, a succubus or something like that, you know. But yeah, check this out. Many Christians are losing their salvation because of this. Vibrator still does in sex demons. <laughs> you know. And if you're looking to this Eden Dakota guy right here, he is a, a I, he is a nut. Okay, he I, I, he is mentally ill himself. All he talks about is this right here. It's three letter word, sex. That's all he talks about. You know. Yeah. Many Christians are losing salvation because of this. Yeah, please. Oh, sure they are. You know, I'm pretty sure no Christian will be into any of this junk. Here's another one. I love this one right here. Um, money gives you access to the power and authority on earth. Huh? I thought the I thought money was the root of all evil, according to First Timothy chapter six. Okay, a power that strictly only give in through money, and the devil hates it. Uh, no, he doesn't. Chapter and verse, please. Satan wants every single Christian to be poor so they can just shrivel up and die in some concrete crime. <laughs> That's a wasteland. <laughs> well, there is no prosperity, just sin. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that one's funny. How witches block Christian prosperity. Yeah, yeah, you know. Just look at everybody in the Bible. You know, they were just rich, you know, except Solomon. You know, and Solomon, what happened to him with, with all of his money? I mean, he said it was all vanity and vexation of spirit. Yeah, good one, Indian Decoded, you disgusting devil, pervert. And then look at this one. Uh, this is on my alcohol study. This guy says, alcohol is a poison, period. And if it, and if it alters your mind and makes you act not sober, doing wrong, it makes you stumble and act like the world. No, it does not. I said, I said, LOL, laugh out loud. Okay, they're genius. Argue with someone that worked with it and understand it. Yeah, yeah, good one. I love these people coming on and like they know everything. Really, it doesn't. Okay, so if I got a drug, I got in, I got, I got, I guess he says if I got, can't even talk right here, and drink a glass of wine, I'm not affected at all. No, no, nuts, you're not. Okay, it's being Christ like to sit around and get drunk of wine. I mean, again. When did I ever say it was okay to get drunk in my video? I warned against it. This numb nut didn't prove that he didn't even watch the video. You know, waiting for an intelligent answer. I said, you're an idiot. You're not going to be affected by one glass of wine. Give me a break. He has that your ignorant, arrogant comment proves you didn't even watch the whole video. I clearly condemn drunkenness. Exactly. You're mentally ill, uh, Mike, whatever your name is. And then he comes on down right here and he says, you are a Christian. Okay, wow, name calling is the best you can do. Wow, really? I guess, you know, I guess this guy's never read his Bible. You know, I suggest you read the Bible there. Notch down your pride issues. You sound foolish. I said, ha ha, notch my pride down, pride issues down. Apparently you never read the Bible. Jesus calls people names plenty of times. You sound like a modern Christian. Can't handle some harsh rebuke. You didn't even watch the video, so we are done. Get a life. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it i mean again no you know alcohol is poison no it's not it's natural fermentation it's good for you don't give me the stuff that you know is poison i've worked in it i know all about it you know if you have any questions about alcohol come ask me you know don't make an ignorant comment like this and just condemn it and say it's all poison it's a bunch of garbage now let me say this you know is some of it out there poison is it some of it synthetic fake yeah you know anheuser-busch you know uh, the beer company they make fake alcohol. They do. Okay. Um, a lot of these big companies, um, other than Jack Daniels, they use fake alcohol. You know, and I know Jack Daniels. It's right down the road from where I live. It's probably about an hour 
up in Tennessee from where I'm at. So they're legit. You know, I don't, you know, if you had, like I said, if I, you've had a problem with alcohol before, I'd stay away from that kind of stuff. But again, you know, you got to really look out. You really got to understand the difference between synthetic and, and real fermentation and all that stuff. Okay. There is synthetic alcohol out there. Fake. Okay. They're altering it. Absolutely. I do believe that. But, but to sit here and say that all alcohol is poison, eh, no, you're wrong. I mean, I proved it in my study. It's a natural process that happens. You know, you can do it with food. You can ferment food. Most of your best foods are out there are fermented, you know. But anyway, I'm not going to get into all that, tan- that tangent. I've already explained all that for the most part. But anyway, I know this is not as big of a list as it normally is, but um, I just didn't really didn't really have a lot come up this time. So, but yeah, and like I said, the reason why I do these, you know, if you're new to this whole thing, um, is just to show the times we live in that people are going insane, you know. People believe all kinds of weird, wacky stuff, and 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 just show you the evidence here of a fool right here. And this Mike guy didn't even watch the video. I flat out condemned drunkenness in my video and said, you know, if you get drunk, and what's the what is the line you cross when you get drunk? Well, when you start stumbling all over the place and you start slurring your words, that's when you're drunk. Okay, and yeah, you know. Having a glass of wine is not going to get you drunk. It's not going to alter you in any way. Give me a break. That's not drunkenness, you know. So, but um, but anyway, like I said, it's just to show the times we live in, and show that things are not getting better. And and yeah, but like I said, I apologize. I didn't really have that much this time this week, but just a lot of things didn't come up this time. So I was actually kind of sh- shocked. You know, usually I find a good twenty-five to thirty. You know, last time I found almost 25 to 30 good things to use. So, um, so yeah, you know, if you got any requests that you want, you want your, uh, you want a shout out or something like that on this video, fine. You know, I mean, I, I get a laugh out of this, you know, but at the same time, it's serious. This stuff is real serious with the times we live in and, um, you know, I can joke about some of the stuff, but at the same time, you know, these people are dying and going to hell. Most of these people are, um, especially, especially this nut right here. You know, this one reality guy, this guy right here, he is a false prophet to the max. I I did a video on him year last year, and you know, believes in work salvation. Jesus saves sinners who stop sinning. That's mental illness. Let me say something about this. This is what atheism is all about. Okay. You say, what are you talking about? They don't believe in stop sinning. Well, no, they believe that they're good people. You see, when you believe you can stop sinning, that means you can become good yourself without the aid of Jesus Christ. That's what this Catholic right here believes. You know, so. But anyway. All righty. I think I'm done for the night. Um, we got some more study to do coming out tomorrow. Like I said, I was under the weather today and the day before. Wasn't feeling good. I was you know, just feeling down, a little down, you know, and stuff about everything, the situation and stuff. So just keep us in your prayers and, you know, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.